Grizzly vs. Gorilla These two heavyweight hitters are likely never to meet in nature, especially considering there's about 6,000 kilometers of Atlantic Ocean water between these two contenders. Ever since humanity decided to continuously improve and broadcast fights on TV, we humans have become pretty good at guessing who would likely come out on top in a fight, even without the contenders having begun the fight. This is probably why some people place bets on fighters. So with a few key factors like size, strength, speed, experience, and fighting style, we can predict who would be the winner in such an epic animal showdown. To get fair results of the fight, we've divided categories like attack, size, speed, etc. So whoever wins in a particular category gets a point. So without further ado, let's start. Before we continue, press the subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. The first comparison is who is far superior in attack. When it comes to the fight, the bear packs a very decent set of razor-sharp claws 10 centimeters long on each gigantic paw, which can behead an animal as large as a moose in a single swing. It is accompanied by a strongly anchored set of teeth, 42 in all, with canines up to 6 centimeters long, and a bite force of about 1138 psi. Whereas a lion, considered as king of the jungle, has bite force of 650. So seeing as the lion's zone is more than adequate to crush bones and snap necks, it's a bit obvious grizzly are among some of the toughest in the bite power terrain. The gorilla has surprisingly even larger bite force of 1280 psi, with 32 teeth and long canines that can reach up to 5 centimeters. They have no claws, but have a hand span of about 2.5 meters. Their arms are longer than their legs, and even longer than their whole bodies. Hence, when they rest on their knuckles, they have a forward posture. Also, gorillas live in packs, which makes them more dangerous. In the attack race, Gorilla clearly gets the point because of its slightly higher bite force and he lives in a pack. The second comparison is size. When it comes to their weights, the grizzly takes the lead. The biggest of silverbacks can weigh as much as 500 kilograms and reach heights of about 5.9 feet, whereas the grizzly can go up to 750 kilograms and reach a height of over 8 feet. With such size, the gorilla's reach may no longer even be a factor for the grizzly as all he needs is probably a few good swipes to score a knockout. Although, that's not to say the gorilla isn't a tough one to take down, for while it may not have claws, it does have thumbs, which it can use to pick things up and throw, and dense layers of muscle that grant them superhuman strength, able to lift weights of up to 900 kilograms and more. Whereas without thumbs, a grizzly isn't akin to lifting or throwing or smashing like the gorilla but is also capable of flipping, rolling, or turning weights of up to 350 kilograms. In size comparison, we must agree, Grizzly has the advantage due to its weight. So here Grizzly gets a point. So current is Gorilla 1, Grizzly 1. Don't pause the video yet, we have more comparison left. Next is speed and defense. In terms of speed, the Grizzly remains the most agile, able to reach speeds of up to 56 kilometers per hour whereas a gorilla's top speed is only about 40 kilometers per hour. So in speed, Grizzly has a great advantage, but in an actual fight, the speed will not be very helpful for Grizzlies. In defense, while the gorilla may be stronger, its fur isn't all that thick, nor does it have much fat layered over its muscular frame. However, to protect itself from the long claws of other bears, the Grizzly has thicker fur, with a layer of fat underneath the skin over the muscle. So, in the speed and defense competition, Grizzly gets a point. So here come the final results from our analysis. A gorilla is about 500 kilograms heavy, stands as tall as a human, can bite its opponent, and has fierce hands which he can pound on its enemy. A bear is double the gorilla's weight, about 750 kilograms average, can be twice as long as the gorilla's, and has sharper claws that can cut through bones and skin. Its skin is very hard to penetrate, and has a hard skull that even a gun cannot damage. The difference is noticeable. In an ideal case, the bear would indeed win. Thanks for watching the video. Comment down below and press the bell icon. Who will win in your opinion?